Okay, so here we have the control unit from a Graco uh, play yard. Um, I've already taken the time to unscrew everything, so if you unscrew the two screws here, they stay there. Um, that's where you can access the battery compartment. It takes three AA batteries. Um, a fresh AA battery is about 1.6 volts, and if you add that up, that's about 4.8 volts, which is really close to a 5 volt typical output of a USB plug. So what I wanted to do is get rid of the three AA batteries. Of course you could use rechargeable but then you're still using batteries to plug this into a wall source. So I already took the time, there's a screw here and then uh, three screws here. The top ones are longer screws and the bottom one and the other one is a uh, shorter screw and uh, basically this thing will come off okay put that off to the side and then you have another one here this side comes off as well and you put that off to the side and what you have left is a speaker the output to the motor and the um, you know the music box with the speaker uh, and LEDs here uh, each LED takes about 23 to 25 milliwatt, milli, milliamps. Uh, if you put them together, it's about 37 milliamps. The control for the vibrator actually uses 9 milliamps, um, which I thought was kind of crazy. And then the speaker, if you have it on its loudest setting, when the music is the loudest, it's about 53 milliamps. Now, the standard battery has about 2,500 milli. I'm sorry, 2,500. Yeah, 2.5 amps or 2,500 milliamps. Uh, if you use just the speaker, you should get about 50 hours out of the batteries. Now, you might say, "Hey, you got three batteries three times." But if you remember back to physics, um, each battery is it has 2,500 milliamps. That's correct but these are in series, they're back to back, so you can't add the amperage, you can only add the voltage. So if you get 1.6 times three, you get 4.8 volts, but the 2,500 milliamps from each battery stays exactly the same. So what, I was, what I'm gonna do is just uh, add on a connector for a USB port so I can plug this into the wall. I have here a USB mouse that has seen better days. Uh, it's got the USB plug, but like I said, it's seen better days, it's gotten the full use of its action. So I already removed the screw, um, take the cover off, and once I get rid of the uh, plastics, where we get down to uh, the brains of the mouse, uh, just a simple, simple mouse. So what I'm going to do is desolder the leads from the board and use those to the positive and negative terminals on the control unit for the Graco play yard. And by doing that, I'm going to be able to plug this in to a standard, standard wall wart and provide 5 volts of power to the Graco unit. I just put a little tension and then warm up the solder and it slips right out. So now I've got the USB plug. I've got the USB plug free of the mouse board. And if you could see on the multimeter screen, I've got red being the white one and blue being the negative one and on the multimeter it's reading 4.94 volts which is what we what we want to see it, just to confirm if i reverse the polarity and do black and white and blue and red it shows negative 5 volts so that means we know that we're working with white with white as positive and blue as negative so what I'm going to do now is take the blue and solder it to the black lead on the Graco control unit. I'm just going to reuse their solder. Actually I'm going to point it this way because I'm going to be running it under the board. So let's see. Okay, that's soldered on very lightly. And what I'm actually going to do is cut the white one. Um, actually, I don't have to. I was going to cut the white one a little bit shorter, but I'm just going to solder it directly on there just, just to make it easy and clean. So let's just do that. So 
See? So now we've got it soldered on. And I can actually test it for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the power source. And as you can see now, the light turns on. Second light, first light, off. And you can actually hear the music. Here's the animal sounds. So you can see that it is fully functional at this point. So I will uh, finish putting it together. I'm going to unplug it from the power source and we'll uh, put it back together. Okay, so there's a couple of tips I still want to mention. Um, you do not want to have batteries in here when you have this plugged in. Uh, it'll cause the batteries to explode because it'll feed power into the batteries where they should be feeding power into the system. So if you've got this plugged into a USB port, to power this unit, do not have batteries in here, leave it empty. Uh, even rechargeable batteries have the chance of overcharging and causing a fire, so I would highly recommend against it. Uh, second thing, you see how I've got these two extra leads. What I'm going to do is cut these and tape them so that they're not uh, touching anything, so that they don't short out or, or short each other and that can cause the power supply to, to have problems too. And the last tip that I'm going to mention is, I, I marked a little black line here. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the, the cover and when I put it on top, I'm going to drill a hole so that when the lead goes through, it doesn't smash it, but at the same time, uh, has a little room for it to go in there. So uh, that's three more things I would say um, before I start putting it back together. So I'll show you. So now that the unit is completely assembled uh, back together with all the screws in there, um, you can see here's where the wire hangs out on the bottom and this is the side that faces the baby so it's it's actually on on the side away from the baby so it could hang down um, away from where where the baby is. Um, our last step is just to put the battery cover back on. Again, you're not putting the batteries in because we have an auxiliary power source. Uh, once I screw those last two screws on, it's ready to be put on by the baby. One last thing I want to mention now that I've got everything put back together. Uh, you might think that, oh, you know what, I've got to be near a wall outlet, I've got to keep this thing plugged in for it to work. That's actually not the case. You can pick up one of these cheap power banks. Uh, they use them for cell phones as backup batteries. This one has a uh, 2600 milliamp hour capacity, which is almost the same as a Duracell AA battery. Um, but it puts out 3.7, well, it puts out 5 volts. Uh, the battery inside is a 3.7 volt, 25, 2600 milliamp hour battery. So I'll show you if I take the USB end of the Graco, plug it into my backup battery, all of a sudden I've got power anywhere I want it to. I've got light, I've got music, everything works from this backup battery source. Uh, they're called power banks or you know mobile power supplies. You could put this anywhere near the the play yard and still have power for many hours. And this is rechargeable. Um, like this particular one, you could recharge with a micro USB port. So um, and then you want to shut it off. Just unplug it, and your power source is gone. So you can have a rechargeable battery, or you can have it plugged into the wall. Whatever works for you. But you've got something other than double A batteries to change every 50 hours. Okay, so here it is finally installed. Uh, you can follow the wire to the wall, it's plugged in. Um, you can hear the noise, you can hear it playing. I'm gonna shut off the camera light so you can see the actual lights lit up. It's, it's pretty bright and um, yeah, so it's, it's working.